arrived in Toronto, Canada. So I think the time is almost 2 a.m. in Taiwan. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe everybody is in sleep, but here it's in afternoon. Yes. Um, guys, I want you to meet our very good friend and one of the, let's say, dynamic supporters of the migrants in Taiwan, Mr. Asuka Lee. He can hey, speak Tagalog, so you... Hapong. Yes. Only the two sentences. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're just, we're just having live, and if you want to ask some questions, then just, just say it. And then Mr. Asuka will answer those questions. Yes. And uh, we we'll, would like to promote Mr. Asuka's Facebook page. That's Migrant Spark and website. Migrant Spark, the same name, right? Yes, Migrant Spark. Yes. So, um, maybe if you want to say something, okay, <laughs> It's okay, I can speak in English. Yes, in English. So, okay, so, uh, okay, so I need to say uh, thanks for the organization. They invite me and Chini. We together come here in Toronto. So, also, we take the flight for over the 15 hours. Really yes. tired for us. But I'm really happy to come here because uh, here the event is a Taiwan festival mm -hmm. fit with Philippines. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's really meaning because lots of Canadian here they ask me, sir, what's the relationship between Taiwan and Philippines? Yeah. So they are really get confused. But it is a Taiwan festival. But why have a relationship mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. Philippines? And I think it's really good to invite me and Chini because we have a really uh, good relation here. And yes. uh, so I can describe to you then, like, uh, because uh, based on the geographical location, the Taiwan and the Philippines are really close. Yes, exactly. Yeah, really close. <laughs> so, uh, the Taiwan close to Japan, mainland China, and the Philippines. So that's why there are lots of people from Philippines come to Taiwan as a foreign labor yes. or marriage immigrants. Yes. Or, uh, or, and there are lots of people from Taiwan go to Philippines for business, travel, or study. Yes, so exactly. this is a relation between our two countries. Yeah. So, so uh, that's why we come here. We want to describe uh, this to Canadian people. That's right. And that's, that's all it. I think what Asuka explained to you is the whole picture of this festival. Yes. If you're from Canada, you can still uh, experience this this very meaningful celebration of friendship between Taiwanese and Filipinos in Canada, which is very special setup uh -huh. in Vancouver. Yes. Uh, what, what's the location in Vancouver? Yes. I prefer. I can I don't know exactly, but I think it's also in the city downtown. Yeah. In the city center, so it will be lots of people come to the event. They're closing three roads or streets just for that event. Yes. So, so maybe you can take the video today. Yes. Oh, people mountain, people see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so let me show you the venue, the park. So there are people singing in that pavilion. Mr. Asuka, do you have any other talents aside from writing? Uh, I don't know. I go in diving. Is it a talent? Of course, it is a talent. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Like, when did, when did you start diving? Diving, I think, since 2013. Really? Because on that, on, that, on that year, I went to a trip to Boracay in yeah. Philippines. Yes. And there is a, a experience scuba diving trip in Boracay. You just have to pay, I think, almost 2,000 pesos. Really? You can have the equipment. There is a guide, coach yes. to lead you until under the sea. Under mm -hmm. the sea. Too. So I think it's very cool because you can have an oxygen tank and uh, you can breathe under the sea. But you're a good swimmer, right? <laughs> I could say, but it's a totally different. Swimming is just in the surface yeah. of the ocean, but diving you need to go into, go down to the sea. 
it's totally different. So did you like the Philippine seas though? Of course, sure. Not only me, but also my dating partners. Really? Yeah, they are really have a really good uh, appreciate the ocean uh, ocean situation, o ocean condition of the Philippines. Really? So that's why every year they are saving money and so kita niyo yun and dami pong nagustuhan yung mga dagat natin kaya we should preserve and don't throw away your garbages in the sea diba sure yeah. sure of course because in taiwan you see some of the ocean is dirty because somebody throw the garbage into the ocean but yes. in boracay or cebu or yeah. palawan uh, i think the authority they are very focused on the yes. environment oh. do you know that in the philippines right now we have a campaign it's hashtag clean seas philippines so it, it literally means we have to have a clean sea in our country sure. so there there are like friends going into the sea and they will just grab the, the trashes around the beaches yes yes and then throw it in throw it properly sure and i need to say especially in chinese hometown Sifu province <laughs> is a world world classic environment for diving because in uh, Oslo, Sifu yeah. province, yeah. You, can, you can see the fire it's shark. Maybe you feel uh, just a fire shark is normal, but I need yeah. to say it's really special. No, anywhere else you can see a fire shark really close to you, only in Sifu. Exactly, only in Sifu. <laughs> you can even swim with that whale, right? Yes, yes, yes. So Pretty that's why amazing. my Taiwan diving partner will always save money and say, oh, okay, it's time to go to Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> so when will you go in back? That would be next year, right? Yeah, next Palawan. year, I will go to Palawan. Palawan. You will love Koron. Sure. Koron uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. very famous. We, we, we go to Koron. Because Koron is in Palawan. In Palawan, yes. So, yes, our destination is, is in Koron. Koron specifically. Koron. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. That's really good. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Okay, see you in Vancouver. Yeah, see you in Vancouver. Bye. -bye. Bye.